We're hearing from three of the five Bishop Chatard alumni who one year ago today were nearly killed in a crash. The friends spoke today to tell their story and say thank you to the doctors who helped save their lives. 24 Hour News aides Phil Sanchez here now with more on their emotional journey. It so. certainly was emotional, guys. It is not a stretch to say that these gentlemen, these five individuals could have died in this crash. It was that bad. The crash happened on I-74 in between Indianapolis and Shelbyville. Their van rolled over, went airborne. Their young lives nearly lost. I'm still alive. Thank you so much. <laughs> An emotional reunion at IU Health Methodist. Every day they were just, they'd come in and check on you and they to get their job done, and then the nurses were absolutely fantastic. 19 year old Lewis Delts can smile now, but exactly one year ago. I couldn't move. It was, I was like on my side, and I just, I don't even know how to describe it. It was like getting stabbed everywhere at the same time as you're getting run over by a bunch of trucks. And he was thrown from a van that he and four classmates were traveling in. Everybody that I cared about was either unconscious or screaming or something like that. They were coming back home from a summer job yeah. when the van crashed. Three of the five in the van were rushed to IU Health Methodist. I didn't really realize what had happened until I got like, to the hospital. And I remembered at one point having the thought that I'm running massive transfusion on three patients at once and I hope we don't run out of blood. The news of that crash was tough for their friends at Bishop Chittard. They held a blood drive the very next day. Based on their type of injuries, um, a lot of patients with those type of injuries don't have a, as good of a recovery as these guys did. So it's truly amazing to, to see them here today. But the past year has not been easy. Dozens of surgeries and a lot of rehab. But they're here. They're alive. And things once taken for granted, now cherished. It's more like you're thankful for everything that you uh, have, really. And they have their doctors to thank for that. IU Health Methodist is the largest level one trauma center in the state, the 15th in the country. Wow. It's so neat to see reunions like that because doctors and nurses, mm -hmm. they treat people every day and right. they're in and they're out. Yeah. And to your point, one of the doctors even said, hey, we don't usually see our patients again. So it was a, it was a pleasure for them to, to meet up with these gentlemen as well. Yeah, and they, and they really owe their lives to these people. No doubt. Yeah. Thanks, Phil. Yep.